Welcome back to the Body Coach app. Hello again and welcome back to the Body Coach TV. I'm Joe Wicks and this is a 30 minute dumbbell strength workout. All you need for this session is two pairs of dumbbells, a heavy set and a lighter set. I'm using 18 kilograms for the heavies, 14 for the lights. There's 20 moves coming up in total. We're gonna work for one minute on each exercise followed by a 30 second rest. So not a lot of rest, but lots of volume, lots of reps in that working set. And remember, focus on control, technique, tempo. Try and stick with me, let's not rush ahead. Get some really good reps in and think about building our strength. So first exercise, one dumbbell on each hand. We're gonna pick up the heavies if we can. We're gonna do a squat, hanging the dumbbells by our sides. Sit down nice and low, as low as you can go. Drive up, squeeze those quads and glutes at the top. Again, 60 seconds on this, so quite a few reps. Are you ready? Let's go. So dropping down nice and slow. Drive up, stand up straight. Good, obviously the deeper you go, the more muscle you're gonna use. If you don't, if you can't get as low, obviously just drop maybe just below the knees or something. Just get a nice bend, get those quads working. Obviously if you get right down, you're gonna hit slightly more muscle, more range of motion. Ooh, yeah, it's good. 40 seconds to go. So I sometimes like just slow my training down. I don't want to be moving at 100 mile an hour, you know, doing the uh, burpees and mountain climbs. It's nice to slow things down and think about strength and building and growing. 20 seconds to go on the clock, and we've got that 30 second rest. Okay, last couple of reps. Final one, get down low, drive up. Uh, and relax, right, we've got 30 seconds to recover, so let's warm the legs up, shake them off a little bit. We're now going to go for one dumbbell, again the heavy one, heaviest one you've got if you can. And we're going to do a variation of squat. What we're going to do here, we're going to squat down nice and low, and as we come up, we do reverse lunge, reverse lunge, okay, so squat, lunge, lunge. Hug that dumbbell close to the chest. Let's go, so squat down low. Stand up. Reverse lunge once. Reverse lunge twice. And repeat. It's a deep squat, slow it down, control it. Really build the strength in these legs today. This is a full body workout. You're gonna feel every muscle get a good seeing to today. Let's go, stepping back. Nice wide feet, squat low and slow, and lunge. And again, down we go, good, nice straight back. Drive through the heels of the feet. It's all about control here, slowing them down. Oh, 10 seconds to go. Lunge, lunge, squat, squat, squat to finish. Last one. Ow. Right, dumbbells down. Shake your legs off a little bit. We're actually going to pick up the lighter set now. Give those legs a rest. We're going to go onto our bicep curls, okay? So we're going to hold one dumbbell in each hand, alternating curls. So we curl right and left. Oh, it's taking out my ass. Right, again, think about tempo. Try and stay with me if you can on the reps. Let's go, so we curl. One, slowly down. Good, and again, two. This is why I've got the lighter weights for this. Wouldn't be doing 18s, no chance. So rotate, get those elbows tucked in. We're targeting all the muscles today. And think about just that form, yeah? Don't swing them up. If you feel like the weight's too heavy, you strike. If you are, you know, struggling a little bit, go a bit lighter on these. We are going to do some shoulder press. Well. So you need to, you need to set weights. It's going to let you do the le heavier stuff on the legs, and then obviously the lighter stuff on the shoulders and arms and things, because they are smaller muscles. <sighs> okay, in 15 seconds, we put these weights down. <sighs> this is all about strength today. Okay, so really. Squeeze out every rep. The last sort of two or three reps should be a struggle. They're not should, they shouldn't be, 
It shouldn't be really light all the way through. So put those down for a second. You want weights that's going to change. You might not get it in this first few moves. You might have to just adapt. If you've got adjustables, go for it. Just shake those arms up a little bit. We're now going to go into a dumbbell shoulder press. So one dumbbell on each hand, retargeting the deltoids. I'm going to probably struggle with a minute of these, but I'll see how I, see how I go. Right, here we go. So dumbbells up, shoulder press. Good, pressing those dumbbells above the head. Yeah, I'm dreaming if I think I can do a, a minute of these. Whoa. 14 serving for me. Let's go. Bend. Drive up. Ooh. So if I start to lose technique, which I think I'm about to very soon, I'm just gonna drop the weight down for a sec. Have a little rest. Because I'm struggling, that's a heavy weight for the shoulders. I'll do a couple more. We've got 15 seconds on the clock. Let's go. One, let's do three, Joe. Two. Last one for me. And rest. Right, last few seconds. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that was a bit more than I could chew. It's okay to have a little break, but a minute's quite a lot of reps. Okay, so give the arms a little shake off. We're now going into an overhead tricep extension. So I'll go for the 14s for this. So you're going to have one dumbbell in the hands, elbows tucked in, and you're going to press that dumbbell up above the head. Again, really targeting the triceps. Don't, oh no, alarm's gone off. Um, okay, off we go, sorry. Where's me alarm going? Seconds, right. That's me alarm, that's me wake up alarm, but I'm well up. I've got well up, I've got well early. Right. So tuck, elbows in, and press that dumbbell up. This is targeting those triceps. Again, there's a tendency to want to bring the elbows up, try and tuck them in. Ah. I'm the same issue with this today, is that that's why it's a little bit heavy for the minute. But I'm here to get stronger, so I had to push myself. 12s would have been too light. 14s are a challenge, but I want to get them strength reps in, so I really want to be pushing and squeezing those last few reps out. This is tough, but this is building strength. You've got to get out of your comfort zone when you're trying to build strength. And rest out. Yeah, that's hard. Okay, shake your arms off. We're going to go back into a lower body exercise now. One dumbbell on each hand, heavies. We're going to do an RDL, which means sticking that bum out. You're not bending too much, so soft bend the knees, stretch forward and pull back. So really think about using the posterior chain, the hamstrings and glutes. So one dumbbell on each hand, the heavies, you might feel a stretch just below the knee. If you're really bending, you might go a bit further, but off we go. So stretch forwards and pull. Stretch forward and pull. Go lean over, stick that bum out. You feel this target in the hamstrings and glutes. The lower back's doing a bit of work as well, so you're not feeling that. But just trying to roll that spine down, arch the back, down arch. That really strong neutral spine. Lovely pull it, 30 seconds to go. Stick that bum out. So your legs aren't completely straight. It's a soft bend in that knee. Yes, yeah, feeling this one. 15 seconds. Yeah. Stretch. And oh, glutes. Really squeeze the glutes at the top. Oh, feeling that a lot. Brilliant. So have a little rest. Let's have a quick drink. I like this tempo. It's a nice pace. Okay, what I'm going to try and do now. I'm putting over the 14s, so slightly lighter. It's going to be a single arm, like thruster. So you can squat down, dumbbell on the right side. As you come up, you press above the head. Okay, so 60 seconds on the right side, 
60 on the left, let's go. Ooh. Good, so you're squatting deep. As you come up, use that power to drive that arm up above the head. Again, controlled squat, power. Control squat, power. Ah. This is a big, it's a big minute this. That's 30 seconds gone. Oh, keep going if you can, I need a little, a little rest. Whew. Yeah, this is a, it's a challenge and wait for me. Okay, 20 seconds left. If you are finding this really easy, you're not getting that burn in the last few reps, just try and lift a little bit heavier. Whew. Even a kilogram more. Whew. Okay, one more rep. Down, come up, and rest. Oh. Yeah, you've got to, You've got to be willing to get out of your comfort zone for the straight stuff. If you're lifting, and I say it's three, four kilograms, and you're not really feeling much in it, maybe invest in a pair of fives or sixes, feel the difference. It really makes it, it really steps up your strength. Smash through plateaus, build muscle. Same thing left side. So we've got the same exercise done by the left hand. Squat down nice and low. Okay, let's go, so down we go. Come up, press that dumbbell nice and straight above the head. Whew. Lovely. Uh, good, come on, deep squats. Mm. So you sort of rack it in that shoulder front back position. Squat, drive. I'm gonna have to do a little break at the 30 second mark again. My shoulders are feeling this now. A uh, little break for me. Keep going if you can, if the weight's okay, keep it up. All right, come on. Last few, 20 seconds on the clock. Let's get down, yeah. press, down. We're hitting big numbers here, you know, we're doing probably upwards of 10 reps per exercise, so high volume. Last one. And rest. Ouch. Right, give those arms a rest. We're actually gonna go down onto the floor now for a floor press. So heavy dumbbells. What we're gonna do, like imagine if you're on a bench press, you can use a bench, but if you don't, you're just on the floor like me. We're gonna have one dumbbell in each hand. So the heavies, and obviously, knees fit on the floor, knees bent. You're only obviously to come down to the opposite the chair, uh, ground and then press up. Off we go. So I'm keeping those elbows bent at sort of 45 degree angle. So they're not wide, flared out, they're not tucked in. They're just that 45 degree angle. Think about keeping those dumbbells in line with the chest, so in line with your sort of pecs or nipple line, you're gonna press from there. Okay, so don't have them up here. Let them drop, stretch the chest, feel the chest, chest and pecs working as you press directly up. Okay, because you can kind of cheat and have it a more shoulder dominant up here. But tuck in a little bit and just press directly up. Good, so inhale down, elbows hit the ground, exhale press. Inhale down, even the lowering phase, I'm building strength, but slow down. Three, two, one. Have that little pause if you need to, and then press up the power. And again, three, two, one, hand rest. Brilliant, so that, you know, obviously nice to have a bench, you can get a bit more stretch, but that's still really working the chest and triceps, so still effective. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, light weights. This is a, a renegade row, so this is gonna, obviously we've just been working the chest and triceps, but now we're gonna try and do the opposite. So we're gonna sort of do a row, so bare crawl position like this. Okay, and you're gonna pull up and down, up and down, off we go. Pull that down towards the hips, using the muscles in your biceps and your upper back. So lift, pause, lower. Slow, pause, and down. So I'm not in a straight plank, I'm in a sort of bear crawl position here, like this. And from there you pull left, to right, right, I've got the break. That's really tough, especially after those presses. 
It's all good though, it's, it's about doing what you can, right? You might buy up more than you can chew weights, but it's okay to rest, reset, and squeeze a few more in there. Let's go. Row and down. Row, down, row. Good. Squeeze those muscles in the upper back. Last. Five seconds. Last one. Yeah, that is really, really hard with that four weeks. Ow. All right. Oh, I can feel that in the back. So we're just on the chest, we've hit the back, up on our feet. Next one, another lower body exercise. We're gonna go with the lights for this because this is quite a tough pulsing exercise. So we're gonna step right leg back, left foot forwards. We're gonna pulse, okay? We'll do 30 seconds left foot forward, 30 seconds right foot, let's go, so pulse. A minute would be too hard on this. Okay, so slowly down, pulse that back knee, almost hits the floor, then drive up. We're gonna do 30 seconds on this left leg, then we're gonna rotate, switch. Ah. Whoa. Wow. Horrible. Big burn, that in it. Okay, we're gonna switch in four, three, two, one, right foot forward, left leg back. Same again, let's go pulse. Right foot's flat on the ground. Oh, this is killing me. It's really tough. Have a breather, reset. Go again, 15 seconds. Last five. Oh, that is horrendous. Oh. Okay, shake the legs off. <sighs> really tough. Okay, we're actually gonna go down to the ground for an abs exercise now. So leaving the weights, just on our back, give our arms and legs a little breather for a minute. We're gonna lay flat on our back like this. <sighs> what we're gonna do, legs up to 90 degrees, and we're gonna crunch from there. Okay, so there, let's go. So we inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down. Good, keep on those legs bent at a 90 degree angle. I'm trying to get my elbows to the floor. And then exhale, I'm bringing the elbows to the knees. Well done, we're back on our feet after this. Okay, back on our feet. With the heavy dumbbells next. Okay, back into the heavies. Come on. Keep punching. All the way, we've got another 25 seconds. Good, let's try to put the signal on the sky. Crunch, get those elbows to meet the knees for a second. Inhale down. Last few reps. Come on, use those abs. Got any other muscles, got to strengthen them, lengthen them, shorten them, contract them, and build them up. Ah. Right, it's time to get heavy again. We've done 12 moves, we've got eight to go. So we're gonna go for some heavy squats now. If you wanna go light, go light, but we're actually gonna do some heavy front squats. We're gonna rack them up and we're gonna go for it. It's gonna be really hard. Our legs are already tired, but you know, I, said, I said we're gonna get strong today and that's what we're gonna do. So one dumbbell on each hand. Okay, we'll front rack position. Get your feet where they're comfy. Okay, we go down, pause. Driver, that's control. That's control. So down, pause for a second. Drive up. Down, pause, drive up. Oh, this is hard. Good, back nice and straight. Drive through the hills. Sit into that nice very chair. Come on, make him count. Down. Ah. Last rep. This has killed me, this has. Last rep. Ah, that's 
done me proper. Ow. Uh, I felt that. Okay, we're gonna go back in for another set of bicep curls. This time we're gonna do hammers. So rather than rotate, we're just gonna curl straight up. That's insane, my heart rate. Okay, so here we go. So hammer curl means you just curl up, no rotation. Okay, just bring it up and down. Again, if you come up with a full minute, which I think I'm gonna struggle with, have that little pause, five or 10 seconds, recover, and go again. Come on, this is strength training today. This is really good, really great session. Just be mindful of the reps. Connect with the muscle, think about the muscle you're using, right? So we don't want to be doing all this, swinging it up and just like control everything, right? Bang, I say that muscle. Bang. Ah. 10 seconds, squeeze that couple more if you can. Let's go, squeeze out the last reps. These are the ones that count, these final two or three reps are the strength reps. Ah. Okay, rest. Ah. Okay, we're gonna go back in for some of the overhead tricep extensions. So I'm gonna have to use the light one. Again, I'm probably gonna struggle doing the full minute, but we've get the biceps, now we need the triceps. So tuck in, straighten up. Great session. Doing really well. I love this kind of workout. This is me for the day, you know, 30 minutes done. Right, let's go. Elbows tucked in. Press that dumbbell above, so you're really straightening those el elbows. Straighten the arm out. Oh, I'm cracked, I'm cracked. 20 seconds in and I'm done. That's fine, this is, if you've got a lighter set now, you can actually do a drop set. So maybe start on 14s and then drop to a 10 or set. You can do a drop set, but I've only got my 16, so I'll be 18. 14, so I haven't got a lot of weight in this, but this is building tricep strength, believe me. And, and obviously trying to bounce out of it, trying to do strict, strict, elbows tucked in, strict press, elbows tucked in, strict. Look at them reps, lovely reps, lovely reps. Don't flare out, tuck in, press, last one. Ah, that has absolutely ruined me. Okay, shake those arms off. We're actually gonna go down now, no dumbbells. We're gonna do some push-ups, so body weight only. You can obviously elevate your feet if you want. Or make it spicy, put your feet on a dumbbell like this. Increase that angle from the put more resistance through. Or, you know, full push-ups or even from the knees. Whatever works for you. I'm actually gonna start doing elevated ones and then work down. Okay, here we go. Again, look at the tempo, right? Down. And up, down, and up. This is obviously taking the resistance up a little bit because I'm on the incline, I've got my feet up above. This is making it a lot harder for me. And then when I, when I lose form, which is about now, I'm gonna re reduce that resistance by going onto my feet, onto the floor. Again, when I struggle with these and I lose technique, I'll drop to the knees. Ah, press. Ooh, okay, so I'm losing form. I've got 15 seconds. Same thing, there's nothing wrong. Let, let go of the ego. Get onto the knees. This is the exact same exercise, just dropping the weight, like a drop set. You're reducing resistance, but still going straight, still pressing through that same muscle group. Ow. Oh. Yeah, it's best to do them you know, modified than trying to do full push-ups where you're doing half reps, you're not really getting down, or your back's arching. Drop to the knees, it's fine. Ah, okay. Next exercise. I'm gonna do a little sort of bumper special here. What we're gonna do here, right? We squat down, curl up, little push press. Okay, here we go. So 
So squat down to hit the ground. You can curl them up, bounce, press. Okay? So three moves in one. Squat, hammer curl, little bounce, press. Squat, hammer curl, little bounce, press. My shoulders are in bits now. My shoulders are in bits. Let's have a rest. Oh, shoulders are gone. 30 seconds on the clock, if you can keep going, carry on. Don't wait for me. Keep going. Uh, got a couple more, I think. Hang two or three, 20 seconds left. So deep squat, come up, curl, little bounce, push. I've only got one more left. 10 seconds, last rep for me. It's the shoulders that are gone. Three, two, one, relax. Uh, okay, we've got three more moves to go. Oh, what we're doing now is a single dumbbell sumo squat. So nice and wide. I'm going to go light for this. I feel like I'm going to struggle with the 18s. So light dumbbell. Okay, we're going to hold it nice and close to the chest. Turn these feet out wide. So again, wide stance, turn the feet out, sit low, and stand up, good. Again, drive down low, squeeze the quads at the top, squeeze the glutes as well. We've only got two more moves after this, okay? Two more big ones. Squat, pause, and drive. Yeah, we've really, I wouldn't wobble with those 18s. Let's keep that dumbbell close to the chest. Amazing hip open up when you get below and you get right down. I've got the hip so much. 20 seconds left. Just don't let them knees, don't let the knees buckle forward. Drive the knees back behind you. Drive the knees out. Feet flat on the ground. Last one. Pause at the bottom. Pause. Hold. Drive. Uh, oh. oh wow, that's hard. Oh, really tough. Whew, okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go slightly lighter for this. We're going to do a narrow press, okay? So laying on our backs, it's a narrow floor press. So before, obviously we had our elbows sort of tucked in, but I don't want them flared out like this. I actually want them tucked in, so tucked into the body, and you just press up from there. Look. So again, this is going to hit the triceps. So we tuck them in, elbows hit the floor, and then from there, drive up. Tuck them in, elbows hit the floor. If you want to get the glutes involved, lift up. So glutes and hands have to work a little bit. So squeeze that bone, drive the hips off the floor. Okay, so tuck them in, tuck them in. And again, rather than pressing sort of over the head, press straight up, in line with the chest. Load the chest and triceps here. Um, glutes engaged, press. Squeeze the bum, squeeze the bum, squeeze the bum. Drive and press. Ah, little rest for me. Okay, carry on if you can. Drive. These 14s are challenging me now in this position because they're narrow. It's much harder like this than having them flared out. Ah, and rest. Ow. Ah, oh, that was killer. Okay, up on our feet. I'm gonna have to use the light ones for this last exercise. What we're gonna do here, again, a little sort of combo move, if you fancy it. So, we're gonna grab the weights from the ground. We're gonna deadlift for two, okay, so it's two of them. Then we need two bicep curls and repeat. So let's go. So it's one, two, one, two. Good. Same again. Stretch and pull. One rep. This is our last exercise. Two. Two big curls. One. Do them together. Together. Two. Okay. One. Two. Two big curls. One. 
Oh, 30 seconds left. Ah. Uh, hamstrings and glutes. And then smash them biceps. Come on, finish them strong. One. Oh, two. Ah, oh, three hard. Really hard. Okay, two again. Oh, stretch and pull. Stretch and pull. One. Last bicep cut to finish. Finish the set. Oh, and rest. Tell you what, there's a muscle in my body that doesn't feel like I got, that I got work then. That was a really good session. Well done, 30 minutes. It's mindful, it's considered, it's not running at 100 mile an hour, it's actually more focused on the tempo control. This is where the strength comes, so mix things up. A little bit of hit, a little bit of strength, a bit of, bit of stretching and yoga, you can't go wrong. Have a balanced approach to your fitness, okay? Thanks for joining me, I really hope you enjoyed that session. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more strength stuff. If you want, to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe, share the videos with as many people as you can, I really appreciate that. And also, if you want to check it out and do a free week trial, visit thebodycoach.com and try out my Body Coach app with tailored workouts, recipes, delicious food, plan, all that sort of stuff. It's amazing. But as I said, I still share content here, so if the app's not for you right now, stick with me here, stay on the journey, I'll get you stronger, okay? Lots of love, have a great day, and thanks again for tuning in. Take care.